guys, what is up today? This is Jordan Condell from thepixellab.net and I'm gonna share a free resource that I stumbled on. And uh, let's go ahead and go over to joelotron.wordpress.com. Joel Otron uh, put this online yesterday and it was really blown up on Twitter. A lot of people had great things to say about it, so I'm gonna kind of walk you through it real quick. So go ahead and download this. It's called Micro Floaties right here. And I have it in cinema already. It's in your object browser. All right, let's go ahead and double click on that. So let's uh, hit render and see what we got here. So basically this is kind of a particle generator to add some kind of dust and noise and scratches and little bubbles and uh, just some pretty cool elements to your scene. You can tell if you float around them, it's basically just a particle system, but it's uh, got a lot of options actually. All right, so the first thing is it's preloaded with this background, right? And that is actually in distance haze light. If you go to that and go to visibility, there's a gradient that is being used for the background. So you can either use this default, you could change this, maybe you don't want the pink settings, you can take that off and use your own background, whatever. Um, and then the rig, it's set up with uh, Expresso, so it's under micro floaties. And uh, we have floater area. We have floater size, so you can increase the size of the particles. Uh, you got count for how many there are, and then you can turn off the little hair type things if you don't like those. And then it has speed, which is really cool. So if we hit play, you can see that it's static. And then all we have to do is really just turn on these sliders and automatically we're getting some animation, some speed and turbulence. Um, yeah, so it's set up with a lot of great features. If you're gonna use this in a project, you'd probably make these a little bit smaller, a little bit more subtle, but they're really gonna add a lot. Just like you'll go into After Effects and use particles in After Effects, you can do the same thing in here now and then you don't have to worry about compositing them. Really cool. Thank you so much, Joel, for putting out this awesome preset. We really appreciate what you've uh, given to the C4D community. So thanks, guys, for checking out the video. Go grab that uh, preset and start playing around. We'll talk again soon. Bye, everybody.